So if I have gluten sensitivity and have not been diagnosed, what am I feeling? What, what sort of symptoms am I going through and conditions, things That's like that? That's really a good question. Uh, what are you feeling? The answer is really great. I love this answer. It's by Dr. Rodney Ford, who's a pediatric gastroenterologist, and he was a pioneer. He started talking about this in the mid-90s, mm -hmm. and many people thought he was a nutcase, uh, but it's proven out that he was very accurate. And Dr. Ford says, well, who should be concerned about gluten? Well, anyone who, and he's from New Zealand, he's like a Kris Kringle kind of guy, right? <laughs> and he said, well, anyone who is sick. And if you are sick, you should think about gluten. Well, what does that mean? Well, if you have headaches, you're sick. If you have mm -hmm. fatigue, you're sick. If you have joint pains, you're sick. If you have skin problems, you're sick. Um, so what conditions might be associated with gluten sensitivity? Any condition. There are over 19,000 articles in the medical literature on celiac disease and non-celiac gluten sensitivity. Um, and it's, it runs the spectrum from uh, most of the autoimmune diseases have now been associated with higher antibody levels to gluten, from MS to rheumatoid arthritis to lupus to um, scleroderma to um, vitiligo, which is white patches on the skin. Uh, most of the autoimmune diseases have been associated in some individuals with those disease. They, uh, it's a pretty high percentage, between 4 and 12 percent, whether it's psoriasis or rheumatoid. Between 4 to 12 percent will have these antibodies. And when you take gluten out of the antibodies, excuse me, you take gluten out of the diet, the antibodies go down and the symptoms get less. Hmm. So it's somewhere... Um, I can't think of a condition that may not be associated. Now, it would be silly to say all conditions are yeah. associated with gluten, but it's rational to say any condition may be associated with gluten sensitivity.